Hello all you repair technicians, repair enthusiasts, and repair minded individuals. Today we're going to be working on a PlayStation 5 and we're going to be looking at an HDMI port replacement. So let's go ahead and get started. Why did I spank it? What the fuck? Today we have got a classic case of a PS5. HDMI port gone wrong. So. Ugh. Salem textbooks talk about the Gooch collector. I should be wearing gloves and a mask. This is legit biohazardous. <laughs> I don't want to breathe this stuff in. Ugh. Oh my god, yo, look at that. See, the downside about, you know, like, yeah, it's going to make a kid's day, you know, he's going to be so... <laughs> oh my god, this... Alright, I, I honestly, I don't know if I can finish that. I need to get some compressed air. Remind me to do that, please. Oops. Anyways, I think what we removed this. Got that. Let's get some of this going. Just wipe it down. We got some more to go. This side. And just two more screws. boomerang screws and then we can remove this right I believe oh there's one one more actually right here so you might get that Should probably get a better view of this <clears throat> Now this job, warranty, you can buy a warranty. This job, check out water bottle, no run. Same as my shirt actually. That was my band, maybe I'll put a link in the description. If you want to check it out at No Rum Band, and let's get to it. Okay, so just gotta make sure I have my small um, the small the micro pencil um, for this. Gosh, I don't know where I put it. I think it's right here. Yeah, there we are. Micro pencil attachment. <laughs> micro 
marker pencil. I don't really know how this liquid metal does with gravity. So I'm just gonna try to be quick with it. And just get in, get out. Just add some of this solder. like to add some solder first. To the board, to the um, posts, especially just to lower the melting point. And be careful because there are some small components here. So you do want to be careful. Just get both sides of the screw posts. Make sure you have plenty of flux. See how we did here. Looks like we still got our liquid metal. And now we just gotta see if we can get this off. Not burning the board for our tweezers. I look like a goofball hunchback. Almost there. Careful with those trace lines. Whew. All right. Now I'm gonna try to keep this board hot. Oh. I don't trust that. Because it fell, it's possibly damaged now. 
Grab this one. All right, took about five minutes. Let me go ahead and look under the microscope. Not perfect yet. So we'll go ahead and try to um, Thing I'll show you. I thought there was something here, but that turned out to not be the case. So now we just have to kind of give it another. Quick little test. A little iffy. on business. All right, I think we are good. We're gonna have to test it to know. But I think we're good. All right. It's been an hour. All right, I have returns it's all done just want to get this on camera 
PlayStation. Whoa, PlayStation plugged into the HDMI that goes all the way through that craziness up into this TV and it wasn't turned off properly. But you can see it's got 4K beauty. So the HDMI port works perfect. So, anyways guys, that is it. Hopefully this video helped show you what not to do when replacing a PlayStation 5 or any HDMI port. Um, I'm obviously not the best, but got the job done. Took, what, an hour or so? I was just on the phone putting this back together, but that didn't take long. Um, yeah, so um, just, you know, practice. Tools, the right tools help. You know, hot air station, you know, screw set and everything. Nice work area, hot air, yeah, hot air gun for removal and also to put it on and then if you need to touch it up or uh, completely just solder all the pins, make sure you have a really small micro soldering pencil, uh, micro soldering iron pencil tip. Um, that'll really help. Flux is your best friend, you know. So that's how I do it. That's how I've been learning uh, how to do it and there have been some where I've had some failures. That is actually my most successful uh, repair yet for an HDMI port. Normally I get a little, you know, crazy. It might take me two, three hours to do just the soldering. Um, if I, you know, mess up the trace lines, I have been known to mess up the trace lines. But there's progress, you know. First it was, okay, I ripped up the trace lines, I can't fix it. Then it got to, okay, I ripped up a couple trace lines and now I can, you know, after a few hours, repair the trace lines. And now um, I'm at the point where I can fix it without uh, messing up any of the trace lines. But, if, you know, it's good to learn all that because there are some times where you get in a device and the trace lines are damaged. So all practice is a good practice, um, you know, especially when you use the right tools and, you know, you can do anything. So thanks for watching. Now. That is one good looking PS5.